Red Feather from Grepax. In this credit video, we will be showing you how to use vector layers. Open Krita, create a new canvas, then go to the layers, click the drop down menu to add a layer, and scroll down to vector layer and click. Once the vector layer appears, in our video example, I will create a clear bowl in order to show cause and effect. Then we will place a blue color in order to simulate a liquid. If you look at the layers, there does not appear to be much of a difference except for one missing an item. On our regular Krita layer, I will create a table just for simulation purposes. Once we place our fluid in the bowl, I will rotate the bowl to spill the fluid or water, if you will, on the table. Now that we have our table on the Krita canvas, let us add the water to the bowl. Being on the vector layer, it is not allowed, if you notice the error message. Therefore, we must move to the Krita regular layer and make our placement there. Now on the Krita timeline, let us prepare to create some animation. First, we have to create a duplicate frame. Usually, I would create more than one. But for now, I will only create one so as to show what will occur. Let us go back to the Krita vector layer and rotate the bowl. Notice the rotation happened on every frame on the timeline. And it almost looks like the duplicate frame is missing. So let us go back to the normal Krita layer and take a look. Notice we can now see our duplicate frame we created. But in both the frames, only the bowl is tilted. And we want this to happen per frame, bowl, and fluid. So let me back up and remove these credit actions and show you how to solve this. There are two ways to solve this in Krita. One way would be to create a Krita brush tip, or stamp if you will. And if you have noticed, our last few videos were about those topics. Although, brush tip creation or stamps should be reserved for items that you would reuse on a regular basis. Once you are ready and have this decided no other credit vector adjustments are needed to be made, go to the vector layer, right click, and scroll down to merge with layer below, and click. Once this is done in Krita, go to the Krita timeline. Create enough duplicate frames to accommodate your animation. Then place any movements you would like per frame. So you may be wondering, will this work with, with photos or images? The answer is yes. And text as well. If you are familiar with text in Krita, when it is first developed, it automatically creates a Krita vector layer 
for placement and manipulation. Just keep in mind to make any and all vector adjustments before merging the layers. Now let us take a look at the Krita text. Bring up the Krita text editor by clicking the T tool in the toolbox and draw a square box where you would like to place the text. When the Krita text editor appears, type what you would like to say, adjust size and color, and then click Save. Make any further adjustments you would like, and once you are happy with your Krita text, Go to the Krita layers, highlight the new Krita vector layer, if not already, and right click and scroll down to merge with layer below and click. Now notice, once I have done this in Krita, I now have the capabilities to move the text to where I would like per text, per frame. I hope you have enjoyed this Krita tutorial and found it helpful in some fashion. And if so, then why not give this video a like? And while you're at it, why not become a subscriber? And ring that bell in order to be notified your way of newly released videos. I mean, ladies and gentlemen, after all, it is free. The intro and extra of this video has been provided by none other than Alex Abayu One. Thank you in advance. I am out.